Hello, dear viewers. We present to your attention a video film dedicated to Sisian. I am a doctor. As every capture has taken one day, we have decided to present the film in days. Day first. And I have lived in that house till I have built my house. And then we will visit my house. Now the church is called St. Hovannes. Right now we are near the St. Hovannes Church of Sisian in the te territory of a castle holy stone, Tsakkar. From the ancient times, the local used the supernatural properties of this stone. The stone heals the disease of people when passed through the stone. However, in reality, when you go down in the hole, you have an impression that the stone is widening and man passes through easily. Exiting the hole, the man touches the right side of the stone and whispers, Divine stone, heal me and give me strength. Our ancestry identified passing through the stone with revival. You should repeat the action three to seven times clockwise. The location of holes on the stones is directed to planets and asteroids. In the Zoratskare Observatory, besides Zoratskare, there is a place of habitation of ancient people. If they had instruments, they would proceed the stones and put more normally. It means that there were no instruments. But if we now will look at these stones, at these stalwarts, at these rocks, if nowadays we will try, let's say a person of my weight, it will not be possible to take and transport this rock. This means that people who lived here were physically very healthy and bigger by their anatomical physiognomies than we. And there is a theory that many years ago they were titans and at that time they have drunk vital water which springs under the stones below. We will go downstairs to drink that water. The visitors also visit this place to drink that water. We will drink from that spring and who knows, maybe that water will make us healthier. Day second. Now we are in Tigran Azor, or the Canyon of Tigers, where there are many petroglyphs of tigers. We have invented Tigran Azor by chance when we were collecting mushrooms. Good mushrooms are growing here. In this court, in length of 7 to 10 kilometers, there are rock paintings. It is starting from north. It is almost the end of it. We have been here many times and came to the conclusion that this picture is not a picture of an animal. This is more a picture of a being from other planet, the eyes, head, neck, legs. Moreover, it is drawn in a place that it is like a human face. It is possible that all pictures were drawn by him or creatures like him as a source of information. There are many sites of hunting, many animals, mostly goats and animals like tigers. But tourists and specialists who are investigating the human origin and rock paintings. It is possible that they will have other opinion than we will have their other conclusions. Moss is not growing and all rock paintings are drawn on the smooth surfaces like this. In my opinion, the stone was not smooth initially. It was smoothed somehow so that a stone will not undergo corrosion. We can think that it was done by this person. Day 3rd we are now in the historical village Aritu, which is near the Silk Road. Many people call this historical monument the Aritu Death Monument. In our opinion, and not only in our opinion, mostly it is called Victory Art. 
We are in Vorotnavank now, on the time when sun goes down. Those are old Armenian signs which speaks about the fact that Armenians are of an Aryan race. Here you can see the Aryan crest which was used by Germans during Nazi philosophy. In fact, we have these both signs of our church which was built in the 10th century. Here are Aryan symbols, pyramids, crests, hunting scenes, the symbols like a man and a dragon on the external walls of the church. On our way, we have stopped near the warm water of Waratam village when there are many tourists. Now we will move to on foot to Spitakajur. From Lutsen we have reached on foot to Spitakajur. The whole journey took six hours, the journey on foot three and a half and four hours. Day four. Today we moved from south east direction to the new built church St. Stepanos in village Darpas. Near Lor village, we stopped at the chapel White Crest, Spitak Hajj. Afterwards, we visited the St. Georg church built in 1666. We are near Artsvakar, Eagle Stone, which is situated in Shenatag village of Sisyan, and the road to that village is near the Silk Road. It is clear that this stone was created by God. The length of the stone was measured by different methods. It is 196 meters. According to our information, this is the highest stone in the South Caucasus. Day 5 we are on a way which goes to the hot waters of Sunik, Sunaj Jermakhpur. Sunaj Jermakhpur is situated about 25 kilometers far from Sisyan. The way to there will take one and a half hours. Not every car can reach there. It is situated on height of 2,300 meters in the most high mountains of Sisyan, where the springs of Vorotan River start. The water of Jermakhpur was examined with regards to its effect on the health and its healing effects. This water has a very good effect on muscle skeletal system, nervous system, osteochondrosis, infertility of men and women. So we are now in a place where a person comes with problems and is healed. We can say a person is reborn here. The road here can be called the source of revival, road of reincarnation. Because besides anything else, here on the height of 2,600 kilometers, there is a slight oxygen insufficiency here, as a result of which the capillary that were not functioning will start gradually function, and our important organs, brain, heart, will receive more oxygen and nutrition. And when we return, we have a feeling that we become younger and healthier, and we are newly born. In Christianity, the people are christened in water. The baby is in mother's uh, uterus in water for nine months. And that is the cause that water is symbolizing reincarnation and purity. Day 6. Today we moved to the Tatev Monastery, and on our way we stopped near Portakar. The people call this stone Portakar umbilical stone, either from its appearance and similarity with umbilicus or based on its meaning. Because, as our grandfathers told, as people tell, the Portakar is known not only for its appearance, but also because it had healing purpose. In old times, there were child childless families, and there was a woman who was practicing voodoo treatments. With those women, infertile women rose here and have done different movements by touching Portakar with their umbilicus. After that, they became pregnant. As I am a doctor, gynecologist, in my opinion, this had its explanation. Because when women lay down on the stone, their abdominal pressure increased and it had a role of massage on the internal organs, including uterus. And it is possible that there was a simulation of ovaries or the mental belief that they will become pregnant after that. In fact, this place was a place of hope for infertile.
After Harsnakar, we have visited Tatev Monastery. Afterwards, on foot, we passed through Tatev village. The distance from Sisian to here is 60 kilometers. Till Tatev Monastery, we came by car when uh, we were he here about one hour. And in general, we have spent three hours to come here from Sisian. Now we will climb on foot the mountains and through the forests will keep our way to Sisian, village Lezen. It is about half an hour that we are walking from the village and going upwards to the mountains which are seen very clearly. We have finished our today's journey, which we have started from village Tatev and on foot through forests, mountains came to the village Lezen. The length of way is about 16 kilometers. We have passed that way in six hours, but of course we had rest, collected herbs, admired with nature. The mobile phone coverage was available on the whole way and we had very pleasant impressions. We wish all people who will pass this way have good impressions and reach their families without accidents. Day 7 now we will reach the St. Vartan Zoravar Cultural Historical Monument, which is situated near the village Angerakot. And every year, on previous the last Sunday of July, both locals and visitors of Armenia who know about the monument participate to the ritual. As it is known, after accepting Christianity in 301, a problem arose with Iran. Persian King Hasgert II requested that Armenians reject Christianity and accept pagan religion. In 405, there was a battle of Avarai on the bank of river Tahmut, and the commander was Vartam Amikonyan. Armenians have defended our religion, the Christianity, and they were the first nation in the world who accepted Christianity. Vartam Amikonyan was wounded during the battle and, as told by natives, was transported to the depths of Armenia. However, he died and was buried in Angerakot, and this monument was built. These people come here every year to show their admiration. The day is called the Day of Saint Vartan. We are in the alley of Khachkars in Angerakot, as called by people. These ancient Khachkars are witness about our religion, are the symbols of our religion which is attracting many people to Armenia. The fact that needs an attention is that there are not only Christian symbols on Khachkar, there are also signs and symbols that were made centuries ago. It speaks about the fact that old Armenians were very advanced and informed. This is probably the only place in Armenia where the Khachkars are placed in such a density. Day 8. Today we have visited Uhtasar, which is situated 25 km far from Sisian in mountains. The height is 3,200 meters. When there are petroglyphs of animals, hunting scenes, and dances. Touching these rock paintings and feeling the smoothness, I would like to repeat the idea that I told in Tigran Azor, that the rock's paintings were not painted on the natural stone, but the stone was smoothed with some instrument, because this smoothness and the fact that moss is not growing here is speaking about that. This petroglyph is especially interesting, because Opposite of pictures of men, here you can see a woman with breast, fingers and pelvis. So at that time, special attitude was towards women as the beginning of life and maternity. This drop painting is interesting because here we can see sea animal. It means that there was water nearby, therefore the animals were painted. This petroglyph is also interesting as it is showing Adam, Yeva, prohibited fruit and snake.
As I have told, while returning from Uhtasar by a contrary way to pass near the Stone River, which land is 70 kilometers and it is uninterrupted Stone River. With this film, we have presented to you only a part of Sisyan picturesque places, taking into consideration that there are still many unrevealed corners. We will try to present them to you later. Hope you like this film and Sisyan interested you, and you will visit it and have unforgettable impressions for our city.